Hi, this is Carlos Cousins. I apologize for including only a portion of the passage here, but um, this question here is asking for the author's purpose of an entire passage. Um, for this sort of question, what you want to do is really have a holistic understanding of what you've just read and try to keep track of everything that was discussed. I've included the beginning of the passage here and then the end and um, hopes that, that might help us out a little bit. Uh, to define the struggle for existence and stress its importance, Define is a good word here in that we have a lot of new uh, terms being introduced. What is natural selection? What is survival of the fittest? You know, um, how does nature, you know, introduce variability in organic beings? So we're talking about um, a lot of, you know, the struggle for existence being um, how this or, you know, we're defining the struggle of, exi of existence as survival of the fittest, right, natural selection, and stressing its importance for our uh, development evolutionarily. So it looks like this is a good answer to it, but maybe there's something better, so let's move on. To describe Herbert Spencer's survival of the fittest and stress its importance. Well, the only mention we have of Herbert Spencer's survival of the fittest occurs over here, uh, and it's near the end, and it is only another way of wording exactly what the author of this article has already called natural selection. We've got, but the expression often used by Mr. Herbert Spencer of the survival of the fittest is more accurate and is sometimes equally convenient. The important thing here is that it is sometimes equally convenient, which means that the term natural selection is at other times more convenient um, than the term survival of the fittest, or although that's not explicitly stated, you must assume that the reason behind why this author decided to use the term at all is because he saw some merit in using that term, natural selection. So this can't be the correct answer. Um, to describe evolution in nature, um, while this would seem like a good answer choice from, you know, after studying um, about evolution in school, uh, we're not really talking about the term evolution here as much. In fact, uh, in both of the uh, excerpts we've got here, we don't see it at all, and we don't see that term used in the passage at all. We know now, because of the conventions today, that we call this evolution, but the author is not thinking of evolution in those terms. We don't have that word used, because that word probably hadn't come into um, consistent use in you know the scientific circles of the time, so it doesn't look like this is the correct answer choice. To discuss the evolution we see everywhere and in every part of the organic world. Um, again, this isn't in, in quotations. It's not something that's being discussed. It, this is why it isn't. It's not included in the passage. It doesn't seem to be the correct answer choice. So uh, answer choice A is the best answer. I hope that that helped with this passage and happy prepping.